Welcome everybody to a new series of tutorials on MM1 Mute Master. So what is MM1 Mute Master? It's an effect plugin which uh, you can use uh, inside one of your hosts like AUM, Cubases or others as you like or what you're used to. Um, it's uh, an AUV free effect plugin and uh, as always in this first tutorial we're going to uh, go through an introduction and see uh, what the controls are on the screen and uh, uh, starting to get used to how you can use the application um, I've chosen AUM um, to test uh, the effect plugin so I'm going to first of all add an audio uh, channel and also a MIDI channel and then I'm also going to add a second audio channel and I'm also going to bring in a second MIDI channel as well. So for the first MIDI channel, I'm going to choose uh, Eisden from Arturia. And I'm going to do the same for uh, the second audio channel as well. And for both MIDI, uh, MIDI channels, I'm going to use um, Step Bud in both cases. Like so. Perfect. I'm going to connect the second audio channel um, uh, to the second instance of step pad and of course the first audio channel to the first instance of step pad. Let's hide, hide the keyboard for now. Um, let's open step pad, the first instance, the note is C, C3, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. The second one, let's change that to something like uh, G3 to create a bit of harmony. Um, let's click the first instance. There is a preset called the big hair. I need to have uh, in the second instance a different preset. Okay, let's see what they sound like. Okay, perfect. There are two different instruments in each of the different channels driven by two instances of step buds that's good enough and the reason i wanted to uh, audio channels and two different instances with two different preset is that the uh, mute master as the name saying says um it will help you to create mixes uh, a muting on and off different channels and which we'll see as we go through uh, the tutorial so let's add the uh, uh, the uh, M MM1 as F uh, an effect AUV free. So we type MM and we'll bring it up. Here we go. And we do the same on the second instance. Scroll down, click on the search, MM. We'll find the MM1 Mute Master. Click on it. Now, the first thing to know is that although they are different instances, they actually have underneath a shared system so that they share the same. Uh, configuration or they share the same state with the two different instances so let's open one and see what that looks like so this is in the interface so uh, let's go through the controls so here is where you select the channel so let's uh, the channel for the instance so in this case let's set it for channel number one here's where you select if you want fading and what level of fadings you want within muting between a pattern to another uh, I have to say it is a six channel mixer and it, it has eight patterns, okay? And uh, here's where you choose the active pattern. Here's the source that is triggering the patterns, okay? Moving from one pattern to the other. This is the direction of the pattern, okay? And in terms of source, you can see um, that you can select manual, sequencer, division, uh, probability or by key. Uh, as I said, you have a pattern direction, so forward, backwards, um, uh, like a ping pong effect, backward and forward and random. It is where you choose the last pattern that needs to be played from one to eight. And this here is where you select this, this sequence of vision, which ultimately dictates how fast it moves uh, between the different uh, patterns and steps. Here you have two um, sections. And let's maximize it a little bit more so you see a little bit better. Here's where the, you have the panel for the chance, where you can just uh, select the source for the chance, which can be bits per minute, BPM, which is dictated by the host, the sequencer, the division, and a key. 
as well and here you have a dial for prob probability of muting or not and similarly on the right hand side you have something for division so and here you have the trigger which can be the same as uh, uh, similar to what you had here so bits per minute sequence and bar probability no of course division because uh, after all this is the source for division or key an external key for example from a MIDI keyboard or controller and here you have the divisions so how many triggers you need to have from the source before it moves to the next button in terms of division here you have the channels which you select between one to six another button here you have the triggers one to eight which will work in order to uh, and provide a trigger to the sequence so you see these uh, um, later on in, in another tutorial so let's uh, give it a quick go so let's set um, uh, active pattern one enable channel number one active pattern number two enable channel number two let's move back to channel number one let's select the source of the pattern to division and then let's set the last button to be number two let's move uh, uh, the dial here up for the division up to two and let's click play okay i'm going to stop here for the introduction as you can see he moves from uh, one pattern to the other and as he, he was doing that he was muting one channel and um and i'm muting the other and vice versa so i hope you found the introduction uh, useful and as always uh, see you at the next tutorial bye